Welcome one and all to Code Weaver Plays Games. Right, I think we've got the audio kind of sorted out. Yes. It's been one of those uh, one of those days when the stream just isn't behaving itself. Uh, but we're going to quickly pop over into the uh, game screen. Here we go, Bedoying, and that is the load screen for the uh, game to climb. All right, I think we're good. I think we're golden. I may have to do one more audio check when we're actually in game. Quick ramble, because I always do these rambles before I play the climb. This was originally Rift S game, or Rift game, I can't remember which one, way back in the day. Um, it runs on the PC, uh, therefore it can also be played on Quest uh, 2 and Quest 3 and Quest Pro, all the quests, as far as I know. Uh, so this is not going to push the hardware limits of uh, the Quest 3. That's not the test of this. I am using the Quest 3 for my display. It's, it's quite pretty. I'm getting some good uh, image throughput. looks pretty good. Um, it won't be pushing boundaries in that department. But uh, what I am intending to do, first of all, I need to get a little exercise, get my body moving, kind of enjoy the game. I quite like this game and its successor, The Climb 2. And I'm uh, playing it via the PC version rather than any standalone version because the PC can push out a little bit more and the uh, software just has slightly better visuals for some of the foliage and ambiance and critters climbing the mountain, all that kind of good stuff. Um, that's the primary reason I'm using it, no other reason. So um, I'm actually cabled up because I don't have a fast enough network connection to do, um, to do uh, all of this wirelessly. I'm gonna definitely have to upgrade my wireless uh, gear at some point to take advantage of that but it works pretty well. So it's doing PC link, um, and it's probably getting about to two gigabits per second over the wire. So that too will probably have to be upgraded to take advantage of all the PC VR goodness for Quest 3. VR is expensive unless you're going purely standalone and then the Quest line of devices is moderately affordable. Anyway, let's uh, keep dwelling on that. The big thing about this though, as I mentioned in the opening to this, is I have paired some Quest Pro controllers to this. That's arguably the previous generation Quest gear, except it was quite an advanced sort of mint for industry Quest gear, I think. Um, you know, office stuff, I guess. Uh, but the Quest Pro controllers uh, can be used on the Quest 3. And the reason I'm doing this isn't uh, because the Quest 3 controllers are bad, they're really quite good, but it's because the Quest Pro controllers have a feature that the Quest 3 controllers do not, and that's that they are self-tracked. They have the same tracking technology, basically, as the headset itself, which means that they don't lose tracking when they go behind my back or above my head or wherever. They track the room just like the headset does. Whereas on the Quest 3 controllers, like the original Quest 2 controllers, they are tracked by the headset, which means that if they get outside of the range of the headset's cameras, they, the headset software has to sort of try to fake where the controllers are, guess where they are, make some good judgment calls. Um, and uh, most of the time that works really, really well. Sometimes it's a little bit janky, it just depends on what you're doing. Now for a lot of stuff when you're in front, you're firing guns, you're moving around, you're skiing, you're running, whatever, it doesn't really matter because your controls are mostly out in front. For certain games though, like this, sometimes your hand is up and over your head and behind you as you're grabbing onto rocks and stuff. I'm going to take, a, now I've done this test back when I played this on the Quest 2 and then moved on to the Quest Pro to check that out. Uh, I want to see whether or not the Quest Pro's controllers can be used for the Quest 3, since they do seem to sync up, um, just as well. Because you can buy these special controllers independent of the Quest Pro. They're expensive, but hey, if you're playing in the VR realm, some people want that little extra kick, and, uh, and I quite like the idea of the self-tracking. So let's give it a go, shall we? Just to see whether or not it still plays okay. So what am I gonna do for this? I'm gonna go into, I think the Alps. Now I've unlocked all of these, I think. I think I've done uh, the hard mode as well. I'm gonna pick one, I'm just gonna say medium, at random, sure, uh, let's hit play. All right, so here we are, we're loading it. I'm gonna do a quick audio check once we're inside to make sure that the game's like, in, um, uh, Ambience, ambient, environmental audio is not completely overwhelming the stream. So let's check this out. Ah! 
Testing, testing, one, two, three. I think we're good. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have enough viewers to let me know on the fly whether or not this is all behaving itself. Uh, Archivine, um, you, uh, oh, hello. Uh, <laughs> did I just get an army of viewers from, uh, from Argo Demon rated you with a party of viewers? Hi Argo, it's uh, nice to see you. Um, I'm doing some Quest 3 streaming. I may not be able to poke my head into the stream for chat as often because I got my head in a headset. But uh, all right, so I've been through my preliminary spiel. Go listen to it offline or in the uh, YouTube backup channel for the VOD stuff. Uh, if you want to hear what I talked about, let's uh, get right on into this. So the Quest 3, the Quest Pro controllers so, um, are, are behaving just fine. And uh, so we're just gonna get right on into this. Now, uh, chalk hands uh, are pretty good. Um, basically for this, I'm gonna get myself in the center of my room, recenter my universe. Right, so now everything's nicely centered, physical world and real world. Now I can just reach up and start grabbing. Now there's a, quickly go over the rules of this for those of you who haven't been here before. This is just hand over hand. I'm squeezing the trigger to grab onto the rocks. Um, if I want to hold on one-handed and not lose stamina, I have to do this sort of half grip partway down on the trigger, which is tricky to do on the fly, but if you're kicking on planning it, it's not too bad. Uh, if you run out of stamina when grabbing a hold of the rock, you let go. No surprise there. Okay, so that's my checkpoint I've locked in. So this is behaving just fine. And I'm going to basically go through this as if I'm just playing the game. But the big thing that I'm going to be after, a okay, drop. I'm gonna skip that because it'll hurt me, or at least make me lose stamina. Shake my hands to get chalk on it. Oh, lost tracking there for a moment. I did have uh, the headset warn me um, that it might be a little bit low light in my room at present to track properly, but uh, we'll just try to make do. Uh, okay, uh, well, you don't have to follow the arrows and say where to go. You can more or less just go where you like. Uh, I don't think there's anything grabbable down there, but there is up there. So that's where I'm trying to ultimately work for. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna have to go up and over. So the big thing here is again, just a test to see under the circumstances where it might matter, whether or not the, uh, the grabbing of, uh, sp of stuff behind my head, above my head, whatever, uh, behind my back uh, is a problem. These controllers should give me that advantage. So here's a good test. I'm going to turn my head to face away into open space. And I'm moving my hand around. It's a little hard to see, but that does appear to be fairly smooth without losing tracking. So this is something, this is well behind my head. There's really no way the Quest Pro controller would be sensibly able to track this. Sorry, yes, sorry, the Quest 3 controllers. Um, it would probably do a pretty good job of faking it though, so it's a little hard to tell, but I'm not getting any jank. That's really quite nice. All right, so we'll see other examples. As we go, I'm losing grip, and I'm losing grip. Ooh. When we get to some of the hand over hand sections, the monkey bar sections of some of these levels, this is one of the places where it starts to become really quite a lot more interesting. And also if I do a throw like this, go, oh, oh, and that was just me throwing myself into the cliff face and not sensibly, uh, The problem is uh, there's no lower body on this thing, or at least it fakes one. So if you throw yourself and clip something with what's supposed to be your lower body, that was a nice throw. All right, so here again. All right. Oh, no, losing grip. Again, I was holding on with one hand, so there's that problem where I have to do that sort of, I call it the half puck grip because of that little puck um, thing in there. Or a half trigger grip, I think is what it's called in the actual game. Or in any case, so here is another position where it could be relevant that the controllers are behind me. Is that when I go to do this throw, for short, uh, for short periods of time behind my back, uh, the Quest Three controllers will do just fine because they'll do all sorts of clever IMU tracking and other things to compensate for the fact that it can't be seen. Also. 
tilt and all of that is trackled by the uh, the IMEs gyros, whatever, solid state gyros, um, whatever they are. Um, but if I stay behind me for too long, that advantage is lost. But the Quest Pro controller should have a problem. Launch. There we go. So that's pretty good. I mean, I can't tell if there's a pro uh, problem. It's not necessarily that easy to tell. Oh, jeez. You're fooling yourself like that, even if you're prepared for it. It gets a heart race All right, so. Oh, I don't think I can reach up to anything up there, but I can drop down to here. Okay. I will check the chat the minute I get to one of the, when they get to the A checkpoint up there. My apologies for not being too communicative in the, in the meantime. So most of this is just hand over hand and looking around for interesting things on the rock face. And I will say once again, like I do every, uh, every time I play this, regardless of the fact that this isn't Quest 3 Fidelity because it's an older game, that is a beautiful scene. I feel like I'm 200 feet above the chasm even though I'm, oh my goodness, even though I am standing on my apartment floor, I'm hovering 200 feet above an open chasm with a racing, racing river beneath me. It, uh, because it has that three-dimensional quality to it, it, all of the fact that it's not uh, the densest pixels uh, in front of me can be totally forgiven. This is just beautiful. And a little terrifying if you think about it too long, so we're gonna flip myself up. So I have to do the half putt grip here because I need I need to hang here a moment while I clean that off. And yes, you can argue it's not real. Oh, that's gonna break because it's a weak rock. It's not real rock climbing. Blah blah blah. Um, you can put in a lot more effort if you're really climbing rocks. Not arguing that. <laughs> really not. Uh, but I can also do this in the oh geez. I'll just do this in the comfort of my own. Oh, let's get that dig over here. Climb five kilometers in total. All right, well, that's a good achievement. Quickly wandering over into space to check the uh, chat screen. We are golden, that's fine. Uh, whoops, uh, hold trigger, both triggers for zoom. Okay, so recenter myself. Okay, here we go. Oh, here's a hand over hand section, so grab. That was a weird pop. Let's stop and grab again. Grab. I think that was just the game being weird. I don't think it was tracking, but in any case, hand behind me. Grab. Hand behind me. So here is where it would very uh, commonly break on the Quest Pro. Sorry, on the Quest 3 controller. Not break. It would be perhaps slightly janky. Now, it would be able to fake it reasonably well because largely the position of my hand is dictated by the tilt of my hand. But if I start monkeying with the tilt of my hand in place, and it's, I'm going to fall. Oh. Uh, it intersects with an object. Yeah, okay. Got to be careful with that. All right. Let's try this again. Fiddling with the orientation of my hand without fiddling with the position. Wiggling it around in position while tilting my hand. Trying to trick this controller into doing something janky. And it's not, it's actually really smooth. Now again, this is, oh, fling and grab. This is an edge case. Most games don't have this kind of a problem. And anything that's sort of uh, maybe office related, like you know, work related, probably doesn't have this problem. It might have a problem if you're trying to reach over and smack something, a button, or push away a screen or something in an office environment where you're reaching off and doing something off screen. And with increasing use of haptics to indicate when you're touching things, you know, you reach out and smack something and you feel it and, and whatever. So you can reach out, like you reach out for a light switch behind you. Um, that would be something hard to do with a. Quest 3 controller that the Quest Pro would handle a lot better because of the because of the extra tracking. Right. 
swing, grab, and grab, and grab, and grab. Should we try to climb this? Yes, we can. You can also occasionally lose tracking with the Quest 3 controllers when they're like down by your waist. Again, edge cases, right? But they're in some select things like this, there will be some edge cases. And I'm going to do another uh, another comparison, actually, another game that I've been playing because um, I've been testing out some software for friends and family. Um, okay, drop. Swing, grab, okay. That might break. No, okay. And drop. Anyway, as a, um, there's a couple of different RPG style adventure games, one of which is called, I think, Dungeons of Eternity, and another which is called uh, Swords and Sorcery Nomad, I think. Um, and both of them have uh, an archery component. With an archery thing, uh, you got a bow in one hand, and that's forward of your camera. But you often have your fingers drawing the string back to the side of your head. Uh, I mean, if you're whoa, if you're doing a full drawback of a bow, the hand goes behind the head, and you can lose track in there. And because you hold it there, often stationary for quite some time, that's actually, in some ways, an even better test than this for the kind of thing that I'm showcasing. Oh, hey, check a look at that. Only reason to have this up here, aside from a view, it's just one of the collectibles of the mountain. That's a stretch. say I like about both of those two titles, and there may be more, those are the only two that I've uh, tested recently, um, is uh, they're trying to get into the very much the immersive, I'm in a world kind of uh, schema, a little bit like this in a way, and they actually have rope climbing and or rock climbing components in it, and it's funny that this game trained me very well for those parts of those games, which are genuinely a little bit difficult. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> go again. Careful. Check that. Halfway down the trigger. So I got to fling myself, and this is again where it might become relevant because I want this to be smooth. I'm going to pre-prepare my grab on this finger. So launch. That was very smooth. That was very, very smooth. Okay. Nobody in the chat room. That's okay. All right. Check that out. We've got uh, squirrel suitors flying from probably it's got to be that peak up there, right? Way the heck up there. Only way to get enough height. Okay, so now we're gonna go under, under. This is this is another one of those places where um, holding on with that back hand I could again lose. Sync. Now, I showed this as an example when I was using the Quest 3 controllers not, um, just before the holidays, so you can go back and check that on the, the VOD channel, uh, the YouTube channel. You can find a link of that in the, my description for this. And, um, okay, here we go. And I think that, that was one of the, one of those hand over hands is where I demonstrated that you can occasionally get janky behavior. Let's get back because it's going to hurt. Uh, I'm gonna skip back because it's gonna hurt, but we're gonna drop to here maybe. Yep. There's nothing over here, but we could go down. Let's just see if there's anything down here, shall we? And drop. 
Now, you can't have come up from here. So this is just somewhere to climb down to, just to look around. Up. Okay. Okay. The game collects lots and lots of statistics on the the transfers that you're doing. You'll get bonus points if you can do like more half presses um, sort of fluidly and the fluidity of your motion. Uh, could I have come up a different way up there? Oh, I guess. Maybe. Because take a look at that. It looks. All right. I think the last time I did this level, I did this exact thing. I still haven't found that second row yet. All right, anyway, hand over hand. So here we go, hand over hand, over hand, and again, I'm going back over my head. This is all very, very fluid. for that smug remark there. All right. <laughs> All right. Hand over hand, hand over hand. All right. Over and grab. Stamina. Gotta be careful of that. And up. Here we go. And up. And up and over. And over. Because that just takes me around. I gotta go over here and check this again. I've done this before. Where I come over here and it's like, okay, well, this is all well and good. So somebody could have come up from there and then trying to figure out where to go. Yeah, I, I, this is a very confusing route, but here we go. That was tense, yeah? Okay, so we're coming back this way. just below me that I managed to dodge. And up we go. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. Some celebratory uh, squirrel suitors zipping down from the heights on high. Wish I knew where they were coming from. We also have some eagles, I think, and uh, there may be uh, gliders. 
some celebratory stuff to enjoy while you're on top of the world up here. Okay, so that worked pretty well. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is uh, I think I am convinced that that actually behaved uh, better with these controllers, but I, I wouldn't spend that much money on, on these controllers for this one game. Well, maybe I might because I really enjoy this game in the series, but uh, that's, uh, that alone is not quite enough to justify it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to close down the stream. I'm gonna start up another one immediately following this, trying to play a little bit of uh, I think, uh, I think I will start with, uh, Dungeons of Eternity, and I'll see if I can side along that into the other one, um, the, uh, uh, Swords of Sorcery Nomad. So I will be back shortly. Thanks for joining this, this specific short stream. And my outro is always less than fluid. This is Code Weaver Plays Games. See you in the next stream.